you know, we've heard a lot about Origin Kitchen and Bar. It's lunchtime in Dallas today. And we're going to sneak down here and we're going to see if we can walk in here. Uh, we're going to do an early lunch. And um, we're down on McKinney in the Knox Henderson area, 4438 McKinney Avenue. And lo and behold, uh, we're going to get to talk with one of the owners, Russell Aldridge. Russell, how are you? Doing very well today. Super. Tell the viewers a little bit about this restaurant. Well, we uh, highlight seasonal craft cuisine, where we uh, really highlight expertly sourced ingredients and let the seasons uh, flavors really dictate what the menu looks like. And so everything is fresh, everything comes in daily, and, and that's kind of what you're doing down here. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. Freshly prepared every day, really trying to hit the highlighted seasonal flavors. So Russell, you know, there's no better way to get the flavor of a restaurant than seeing the chef, talking to the chef, watching him prepare some dishes. Can we do that today? Absolutely. Okay, let's go do it. I'm with Scott Toby, the executive chef here at Orgy Kitchen and Bar. Scott, how in the world are you? I'm doing fabulous today. Super. You're going to cook some good things for the patrons? I am. You're going to share them with us? Uh, I'm going to bring them right to you. Okay, baby. Let's go back and do it. Let's do that. Okay. All right, Scott, you're cooking up an omelet, it looks like. Uh, you know, tell the viewers about this omelet. All right, this is my wake up omelet. This is the thing that I eat every morning. Um, I'm really good at making it. So uh, you, you like what you eat? Yeah, I do. I or eat you eat here. what you like? <laughs> I eat here a lot. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's uh, pickled jalapenos with a uh, Mexican chorizo, a little bit of sriracha. And I add uh, pastured eggs on top of it. That's our omelet. And then I add uh, Paula's mozzarella from down in Deep Elm. She, she makes a wonderful product, and it really takes the omelet to the next step. Uh, we top it with a uh, fresh avocado crema made every day. On the side, we've got mashed stick fries that we cut by hand every, every day and then a rosemary ketchup that we make in-house. Looks too gorgeous to eat. Okay, Scott, this is another egg dish for lunch, so when people come in, they love these, they love these omelets, uh, you know, at the, lunch to, at the lunch hour. Tell the viewers about this dish. Well, I mean, everything we do is try to be brunch, so, you know, making a lot of really good, savory things that you can eat for lunch and still has a breakfast theme to it. It's a really big thing. So right here we have chili quiles. It's over malanga chips, which is a, a offbeat of the yuca. Um, and everybody really likes it. I really like it. Um, we top it off with smoked gouda and a pork carnitas with a citrus braise and then a uh, pastured egg on top, lightly fried over easy, jalapenos to garnish, and we top everything off with a uh, rosemary salsa that we uh, get a little bit of acid in it, so it's a little bit different than your normal salsa, but it's something that expands on its own in the dish as well. Delightful. Scott, French toast? Yes. This is my favorite thing to eat by far. Like, I have the worst sweet tooth ever. And so, my pastry chef, Aaron Palmer, um, I just wrote him. I was like, I want vanilla on everything. And so, we made a uh, creme anglaise, uber vanilla in it. And we, we basically dredge it, sear it on the nickel plate, top it with uh, blackberry jam, candied ginger and a almond mousse on the side, which is heaven. I love the almond mousse. I can't stop eating it. God, it just looks great, Scott. Uh, you know, Scott, I've never seen a salad, you know, displayed like this and plated like this. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Tell the viewers about this slaw, this uh, salad. All right, well, this is a uh, shaved Brussels. Um, basically, we just take our, our time and get them all thin and shaved up, and we we sear them real, real hard in the pan and add a, a mustard vinaigrette with toasted walnut and a little bit of white wine and we sear it up real hard. No salt, no seasoning. We wait till it like loosens up a little bit and we, we basically pack it into a little container, flip it upside down, garnish it with pecorino shape and a mustard vinaigrette. So that's pretty much the dish. We top everything off with uh, black sea salt to, to season. You can't get a much better salad than that, and it is healthy. It is.